Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to review the Racer Star F4 all-in-one controller featuring an ESC and an integrated flight controller all-in-one. So let's open this small bag and see what we're getting inside. Inside we got the instruction manual, we got these plastic screws which are an important issue and I'm gonna get to it in a minute. We got two leads for the battery, one black and one red, and we got the flight controller itself. So this flight controller features 30 ampere BLLES ESCs that support one shot 42, one shot 125, multi shot and D shot 600. There is a new version that has a built-in OSD, but this one is the older version without the OSD. And maybe if you're considering getting this flight controller, I would suggest that you should get the newer version with the OSD because I really like an OSD feature. And this one was released before they had the newer version. So I will put the link also to the newer version with the OSD feature. On the bottom of the board, we have over here the micro USB port. It already comes pre-flashed with Peter Flight. Over here we have the battery plus and battery minus. Over here we have the motor leads for motor 1, motor 2, motor 3 and motor 4. Over here we have two ground pads, LED, 5 volt, buzzer plus and buzzer minus, TX5, RX5 and over here s bus 5 volt and ground which means over here you're going to connect your S bus receiver. Now according to Banggood there was a flaw in the design that all these holes are directly connected to the battery plus which means if you're going to use metal screws it's going to burn the flight controller so take into consideration that you should use only the plastic screws they provided or any other plastic screws so don't use it with metal screws because it's probably going to be the end of this flight controller. The boot button is conveniently placed on the top of the flight controller so it's very very easy to press it and then just flash a new version when needed. The weight of the flight controller is 11.13 grams so it's very light and if we're going to add a video transmitter for example the TBS Unify Pro it gets us to a total weight of about 16.19 grams. So it's 2 grams heavier than the all-in-one flight controller from AGLRC which has a built-in VTX but this one doesn't have any ESC inside and the ESCs weigh more than 2 grams. So using this flight controller is going to make your build easier and probably also lighter. The distance between the mounting holes is about 29.3 by 29.3 millimeters. The total width is 42 millimeters by 36 millimeters on this cube and the total length is 52.7 millimeters from all the way down to the battery leads. The height of the stake is about 5.3 millimeters. So I'm going to use this ESC and flight controller probably in one of my next builds. If you have any questions about this flight controller, feel free to ask it in the comment section below and see you on my next videos. Goodbye.